Hey guys, my name is Aaron Leaton. I wanted to go and go over the tutorial that I created today in order to walk you guys through how to build a planet shader. Um, this planet shader will have the ability to have an atmosphere that's based that'll show up based on the fake light direction that you give it. It'll have city lights in the nighttime of the world, and they will slowly turn off during once they transition into the daytime of the world. Uh, we'll have a cloud map that'll slowly rotate, and we'll have the Earth, or excuse me, the planet texture itself rotate. I grabbed a standard earth texture, cloud texture, and um, night earth texture from the internet and resized it to a 2048 by 1024 map. You can use anything you generate on your own, but those are the three. You want a cloud, a night city light, and a uh, standard world map, which has your water, your land, whatever the hell else you'd like to have on there. All right, so let's go ahead and go over what we need to do in order to build this. If we go over here to my drawing, I got this guy over here, and he's gonna be my he's gonna be my happy planet. Yeah, let's give him a little mustache. Oh yeah, he's the lay planet. Anyways, what we need to do here is we have to have a light source. Now we don't have access to light vectors inside of UE4, but we can fake it. So what we're gonna need to do is we're going to take this source over here, and we're gonna say, hey, I'm gonna make this point kind of look over here so that we can get something like that. Now the way to do it, and I'm going to go ahead and switch to Unreal to kind of explain this, is that we're going to get a vector 3. <clears throat> um, excuse me, we're just going to get a vector 3. Now I have a uh, parameter in order to make adjustments with a material instance later, but for now you can just put in a vector 3. Now the way you do that is just hold down the number 3 key, click, and bam, there you go. It's like magic, but through code. And with this, I'm going to delete that real quick because I already have one. I'm going to set the value of blue to 1. That way we have the light source coming straight down. I'm going to mask out the alpha channel. So I just have the red, green, and blue channel. And you can get a mask just by typing mask, and it's a component mask right here. Mm -hmm. We're going to plug this into a dot product. Because we want to find the dot product of this value along with the pixel normal world space, or the world space of the pixel normal. <clears throat> and what that's going to say is this object's going to have points around it, it's normals, and it's going to compare those normals to this direction, and then from there we're going to get a uh, black and white image. And then we're going to clamp that, because we don't want a value to go under zero, we don't want a value to go above one. So if you go ahead and type clamp, it will... Uh, allow you to just type that in. Now I'm going to show you what this does on its own. If you look here, we have this light source. Now I'm going to change this to zero and we'll change this to green just to show you. So based on the values we put here, we can change the direction that our fake light is facing. And we're going to use this as a mask later down the line. Alright, so what we're going to do before we go any further there is we're going to go through some of these other nodes. Now, for the sake of uh, readability, I went ahead and just duplicated this three times. Um, they're all the same. Yeah, I'll go over the last one. The last one's a little different. They're all the same for the most part. I just wanted to be able to read this easily and show you guys how simple of a material this actually is. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to go down to the atmosphere. Now the atmosphere here, let's see, let me stop previewing. Might help if I right click, not left click. Alright, so here's my atmosphere. All I have here is again a vector 3, but it's a parameter so I can modify it later. I have it be multiplied by a Fresnel with the value of or the exponent of 4.5 and you can you can play around with that and in fact what I would suggest you do is plug in a scalar value so you can just press 1 and click right click that and convert it to a parameter plug that into the exponent that way you can control how thick the atmosphere is and then I go and I take and I um, apply a power to it so that it's multiplied by itself in order to get our lights to be lighter and our darks to get darker so we slowly cut off that edge and I take those and I take, excuse me, I take the power there and I multiply it by the vector 3. 
and then we take that and we multiply it by this light direction. So what we have right here is just a straight up Fresnel. It's got a nice little dark <clears throat> uh, inside with a highlight on the outside. So we've got like a halo effect going on here. Now that's great, but again, as I said earlier, that'll look bad if it's just sitting there in space. So what we're going to go and do is we're going to go into, ah, excuse me, we are going to go ahead and plug in that light direction in order to go ahead and make this mast. So now it's only affecting one angle. All right, stop that. Let's go to my cloud here. Now this is probably the easiest part of this whole thing. All you do is you take your texture sample and you apply a panner to it. Now my speed is 0 .0035 on the X for the um, earth map itself. You can modify that, you can spin it like crazy and have outrageous gravity on your planet. Um, now my cloud map is the exact same thing except I sped it up to being 0, 0.00, I'm excuse me, I didn't speed it up, I slowed it down to being 0 .002 instead of the 0 .03 or whatever the, the heck it was. And then I'm going to add those two. And what this does is it just it just goes ahead and adds them together. I mean, that's as simple as it is. And you look here, and we have my cloud map slightly rotating, but the Earth map itself is rotating a little faster. And that's pretty simple to do. Remember, you want to make sure that's an add, not a multiply. Otherwise, you're going to get desaturated colors or all kinds of craziness. Go ahead and stop that. All right, so here's what we're going to do. So we got this atmosphere and we're, we got this direction of our light up here. We're going to go ahead and add those two together. And what that's going to do is it's going to take this dark value because if you remember this had a dark inside here which means that if we multiply anything by that it's going to turn black. And we don't want that. So what we do is we take this and we have this light area that we're getting from this top direction of light. And we're going to multiply that value by our Earth and cloud map. All right. That's starting to look like something. OK. So that's all fun. But we still need to have that night sky because right now it's black over there. No power in those countries. So we go down here to our last direction of light. Now, for the most part, this is the same. You got your vector 3, the mask, it's dot product of the pixel normal. We're clamping it so it doesn't get outrageous, but here's where it gets excited. Exciting, rather. We're going to go ahead and uh, get rid of that. I don't know why I kept that there. All right. So, what we're going to do here is we're going to multiply it by 2. And what that does, so let me show you what it looks like right now. So this is how it looks right now. When we multiply it by 2, it gets brighter. I mean, that's, that's self-evident. But what we do is we clamp it so that we don't have a value above 1. And then we're going to use that as our ma mask for our city lights. Now, if you noticed, because I didn't notice it, and that's because it's not there anymore. That's because I went to an interpolate. All right, sorry. So <clears throat> what we have right here is a linear interpolate. And what that's doing for us is it allows us to plug in an alpha map or an alpha value into it in order to interpolate between two values, A and B. I have B set to black, which means that whatever's on that side is black, which is this top area right here. However, for A, we have... Oops, clicking, oh man, ah jeez. Okay, sorry. <clears throat> For this uh, alpha value, what we have right here is we have a panner. It's going at the exact same speed as the, uh, the Earth is because we want it to match up with it. It would be weird if city lights start falling into the ocean. Um, that would be catastrophic actually, so we don't want that. What we do want is this to be the exact same speed. We plug it into our city lights. We take that, we multiply it, because our city light is black and white, or at least it should be. If you have any color to it, I would just desaturate it and bring it in 
or you can use a desaturate node inside of Unreal. But either way, let's stay away from that. Just keep it black and white. We're going to multiply it by a color. And you can make this color any color you want. Make it pink. You got a neon world going on there. Oops, let's uh, saturate that color. Oh, Jesus. All right. Now my value is set pretty high, so and they're above one in order to have it bloom. So, to uh, recap, there we have the lights. We multiply by a vector three again. This is a parameter so that I can adjust it outside of this in a material instance, as you can see right here. And we plug that into an interpolate. So it's saying that whatever is white over here is going to show up in black whatever is black over there is going to show up with the city lights. Alright, now we take this and we take what we did over here, so both of these things. So we got our planet, we got our, our clouds, we have light direction, we have our atmosphere so people can breathe, we have our night sky, and we just add it together. And this is what you end up with. Now of course it's a planet that we have a fake light to, so we want to make sure that it is unlit. And you can get to that by clicking this thing over here. And click on unlit. Alright, now, as I said, I had those things set up as parameters. So what this allows us to do is we can change the atmosphere color. Earth is a little bluer. And you know what, we're going to get crazy. Oh man, I have a bug from my tablet that makes my keyboard repeat things every once in a while, so it keeps things real fresh. Alright, so we got that crazy ass bloom. Now, we can change direction. And if you notice, look at that, look at those lights turn on and off. Isn't that sick? Oh, that is awesome. And, let's say we don't like those lights. We can change them whatever we want. This is your life. You do what you want. Unless it's murdering people, don't do that. All right. I mean, that pretty much sums it up. Uh, let me know what I can do to improve tutorials. I know this is my first one, so I set it a little bit. But uh, hopefully more will come. I'll do a lightning one pretty soon and uh, possibly a flamethrower after that. All right. Well, thank you.